but uh, <coughs> same in Torta. So pretty much what we want is for tourists to be able to spend their money free without you know a lot of constraints. So I know everybody was thinking, you know, I mean, why not just get like international coin terminals in every shop. There not really is a viable solution for us for various reasons, mostly cost, but there's other logistics and like uh, region where we're physically located. So the alternative, or well, the best alternative that we can come up with is the Senate Torta, which I'm gonna explain to you. So our current international card service is I'm pretty sure somebody did mention today. The cash amount service with a 5% commission charge. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, so everybody know you just take your, uh, well, the tourists take the international debit card into the bank, wait in the queue until teller free. You go to the teller, you uh, Submit your card is a lot more than that. You need to scan your passport, and uh, there's a lot of hassle. Um, so, there is fraud, which doesn't fit. You only you only can get cash, so the tourists can only get cash when the bank is open. So, either at the wharf or uh, the main branch or one of the remote locations. Um, it can only, they can only get cash if they receive a successful um, authorization. So sometimes, um, yeah, most times it is because of um, connection difficulties. And then after they may put their pin in so many times and they get locked out, which is not a password. And uh, like I said, so to try to get around issues, uh, we introduce in a um, Prepaid low cards are similar to wallets, <coughs> where you, um, you know, put money on it and then you can spend it. But instead of we put money on it and taking it elsewhere, the tourists can use their um, like international bank and load it with money and then um, download this about your cards. They download the app so um, it gets transferred from their currency to our currency through a third party secure um, payment gateway. And once um, they activate their card, as soon as they get off the plane, get off the yacht, get off the boat or wherever, they can start spending their money at um, merchants' establishments that accept local debit card payments or current selling of pay systems. This is features of a card. It is a um, GBP prepaid currency card. So if you are a uh, tourist coming from South Africa and they got rand, um, the third party payment gateway will convert that rand to GB GBP. So uh, it will be the tourist bank who will pay the fees on that. And um, because SHP and GBP, GBP is one to one, um, whatever they pay GBP to a card is what they can spend in. So, uh, so that's a card, so um, no physical cards, everything on the phone, QR code on the phone. It's a reloadable card, so if they spend all their money, they can just log on to the online portal and get more of their money to the seven card. Um, already mentioned the app. Uh, it's a pin and nail card, so it's pretty much exactly the same as the local debit card, like the way you spend, it's just that it's on your phone. And the unloadable, meaning that <coughs> tourists don't have, don't spend all of the money that they load to SHP, they can unload it back to the card that they load. So, like I was saying, um, how would it work? It will work exactly the same as uh, the local debt cards. So, merchants will 
don't need to get any new um, devices, <coughs> scanning cards. They just use the remote yeah, devices or the hard cards, or what um, the SHP devices that they have already installed. And like I said, yeah, they can spend the card in any merchant establishment that offers sending pay. So unfortunately, if you don't offer sending the pay, um, it is not compatible. But hopefully, more merchants will come online as uh, soon as we release the tour of the service. So I'm just going to give a just an overview of what can happen in the uh, online portal. Normally, um, the local seller the Indian probably, well, they won't really see this, but just as an overview. Thank you. 